Stereotypes are one-sided propaganda racist people use to portray minorities through their eyes and usually in a derogatory and demeaning way by generalizing and over-exaggerating concepts. Minstrel shows were shows that white people will wear blackface and act as a black person for entertainment and jokes as seen in this image right here. This is where the origin of black people loving chicken and black people love watermelon. The first stereotype we have is the black mammy, black woman stereotype. The stereotype mammy was a product of propaganda by racist white America to make it seem like slaves were happy in slavery. This is why most depictions of Mammy, she has a big smile on her face. Um, they made her character um, rather tend to the white family than her own, so made her like a suck up to the white man, basically. They portray her as super, super dark, bright red lips, overweight, and basically just try to make her look unattractive and not sexually appealing. This is very ironic to me that they tried their hardest to portray black women in general as ugly when black women were more prone to sexual assault by white men compared to white women. This shows that white men were attracted to black women. Hattie McDaniel was a actress in the movie Gone with the Wind in 1939. She played the extremely racist role of Mammy. In the movie, she is portrayed as the maid, the servant, the go-to, and the person that does all the work. Tyler Perry portraying himself as Medea is one way that this mammy stereotype is still alive. First red flag is a black man portraying as a black woman when he could have hired a black actress. Second red flag is the way he portrayed her as an older woman with the whole mammy look. Medea is also known for being very outspoken at times, very what you would call hood or ratchet. This also feeds into the angry black woman stereotype. This makes the black community go backwards as a whole because this is not a true depiction of black women in general. Instead of Tyler Perry acting as a black woman for laughs and giggles, he could have hired a black woman. Martin Lawrence as Big Mama is another way that the mammy stereotype is still alive today. The wig and the red dress really gives the whole stereotypical mammy vibe. This is also another example of a black man portraying as his concept of an older black woman. It's also very ironic because in the movie Big Mama, she is a nanny, just like Mammy was um, in her film. In the movie Big Mama, she is a nanny for a white family and take care of white kids, just like the original Mammy stereotype. The next stereotype of black women we're going to talk about is the Jezebel stereotype. This stereotype is a... Heavy over-sexualization of black women and black children. This is the idea that black women were easy and on go to have sex with multiple men. But this idea was created by white men. It was created to rationalize sexual relations with white men and black women. If black women were looked at as easy to sleep with, then white men raping them would be justifiable in theory. Many black women felt they had to consent to sleeping with these white men in fear that they would hurt them or hurt their family. Sometimes these slave masters and white men would promise these black women things just so they can have sex with them. 
black women's bodies were also necessary for future slaves so they were often pregnant and were encouraged to have babies this also made black women look more hypersexualized this makes white men contradict their beliefs on black women because the mammy stereotype was created to show that black women were asexual but the jizbo stereotype was made to show that black women were promiscuous so which one is it is black women asexual and ugly or are they a jizbo and a whore we're actually neither of those options <laughs> Halle Berry as Miss Stone in The Flintstones is one example of a Jezebel in the media. Her character wore very skimpy clothing and her cleavage was out majority of the time. Her character always seemed to try to seduce a man and the men in the movie were in, always in awe over her. There's nothing wrong with a beautiful black woman showing off her curves. But the white women in the movie, Wilma Flintstones and Betty Rubble, they chest wasn't out. And they weren't overly trying to seduce everybody. Now that I think about it, Miss Stone was like one of the few black people who was even in that movie. Another Jezebel stereotype we see today is in the movie ATL. A woman is nicknamed Big Booty Judy because of her um, large behind. This feeds into the over-sexualization of black people because her nickname is based off of a sexual part of her body. And even just the camera zooming in on her behind also sexualizes her as well. The over-sexualization of black women is prominent in movies and media and also in music as well. There is nothing wrong with um, adult women, especially black women, uh, flaunting their sexuality. But when you look at the history and the origin of just how black women were sexualized in general, it makes you question where that concept came from. Because white women in media are not portrayed as sexy as much as black women is. We the ones with the curves, we got the hips, and we do got the badonka donk. We be the ones on stage shaking it, you know what I'm saying? White women don't be doing that. Even if they do do it, they don't do it good as black women. So the whole concept, in my opinion, of black women, the whole concept of sex sells. Um, stems from the Jezebel stereotype. I feel like a lot of black women feel it as though they have to go down the sexy path to be beautiful and it all stems from the Jezebel stereotype. The next stereotype we're going to talk about is the angry black woman stereotype or the sapphire stereotype. This stereotype portrays black women as being rude, loud, malicious, stubborn, and overbearing and emasculating their men. The stereotype all started from a minstrel show called Amos and Andy. It was a show that aired from 1951 to 1953. The show was about two white dudes who dressed up as two black guys and basically just did random things and portrayed black people as being stupid and funny in a der derogatory and demeaning way. On that show, there was a character named Sapphire Stevens, played by Ernestine Wade. She was married to George Kingfish Stevens, who was another character on the show, but a black character portrayed as a coon, lazy, easily confused, unemployed, and avoided work, so it would take the easy way out to try to get money. The character Sapphire Stevens would berate and belittle him and call him a failure basically took her anger out on him and she would always harshly critique his life and show her disgust with him so the portrayal of the angry black woman was born the tv character rochelle rock from everybody hates chris portrayed by tanisha arnold is a good example of media today that portrays black women as being angry 
In the show, she is a really strict and mean mom to Chris and just always seems to go off at the slightest of things and seems to get on Chris for honestly no reason at all. The character Sabrina, played by Tiana Taylor in the movie Medea's Big Happy Family, which is ironically a Tyler Perry movie. We just talked about before how he um, has his deal with um, stereotypes and black people and how he's making them worse. But anyways, um, she is portrayed as the baby mama and she is really loud in the movie and she's always like bye Ren and just really loud and really ghetto and just always starting stuff which is another example of an angry black woman being portrayed in media today